Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today we're going to talk about email clients. Email? We're talking about email? My name's Jeremy, this channel's about tech, go figure. And today we're going to be talking about email clients on Linux. I know this topic could potentially be fairly boring. There is actually some things that I had to work through to get things to work the way I wanted to, and I wanted to share that with you today because there's a couple of approaches that you can take doing email. And unfortunately, in the world today, we still need to use email. The first and obvious answer is to use a couple of tabs in your favorite web browser and have whatever client you have set up. Maybe you use Outlook, uh, the web client, and you just set up that tab and have that set up and you're good to go. And that's a perfectly fine solution. But I prefer to use uh, an email client. I like to be able to have my two accounts that I need set up, ready to go, easily accessible for the calendar, tasks, and email. And I thought this would just be an easy slam dunk. I'm like, I'll just grab Thunderbird and move on. I went through the bunny trail <laughs> trying to figure out how to do this simply and easily. So in this conversation, I'm going to be looking at this as a Linux user like I am, just wanting to use an email client simply. What that means to me is I'm not going to be fiddling around with a bunch of settings and going into config files and editing things or finding this plugin to make it work the way I want to. Although those are very viable options for me today, I just want to simply have my email set up, make sure it's fast, make sure it's easily readable, make sure I can find the information I need. I want to be able to do that and have it set up simply. So that's the way I'm going to treat this today. Could I get some of these other email clients to work just out of the box? And that's what we're going to discuss today. Most of the problems that I experience probably with some digging, whether it be a plugin or editing a config file, I could have made things work for me as well. But in this exercise, I'm like, well, is there something that I can just get set up and just get it running, not worrying about it and share my experience with you guys? I have two email accounts that I need to be able to use. One is Gmail. One is a private email uh, that I have set up. And so I want to be able to use both of those easily. They need to be able to be set up with email and calendar with little setup and configuration in this exercise. And so I've tried multiple email clients. There are more than you think that you can use. Today we used Thunderbird, Evolution, Geary, Blue Mail, Mailspring, and we used better bird the reason i didn't choose something like contact or kmail is because i'm using a gnome based desktop environment and i wanted some consistency there for my own personal benefit those could be great options but for me today in this exercise i chose not to use them so i'd like to switch over and just kind of walk through my fun and maybe this will help you choose an email client if you have to have one might benefit you so let's move to the desktop and let's go from there obviously the first thing i did is i had a gmail tab set up and a private email tab set up and i worked with that i then also moved to something called ferdium which is super cool but essentially it's a web-based collection of communication tools that you can set up and use it's cool but it really didn't meet my needs uh once in a while the private email account would log itself out, which is totally understandable and fine, but it was a little annoying for me just wanting to go in, respond to a client and move on. I started with Thunderbird as my first go. Obviously Thunderbird is a classic and one of the, the strengths of Thunderbird is setting up email addresses is super easy, including my custom domain private email. I was able to put in a name, Put in my email address and password it was able to pick up and find the server and boom i was done same thing with my gmail account and i was set up the layout is perfectly fine things are easily readable i liked the tabbed view for calendar or drilling into something like even your settings as a new tab i really appreciate that and i started working with Thunderbird thinking everything was fine. The problem with Thunderbird was a lot of us with Gmail accounts, there are tens of thousands of emails. And every time I started it up, it would just be really slow to get to a place where I could check or receive an email. I don't want to be spending all day 
on my email client. And normally this is when you start at the beginning of the day, not at the end of the day. End of the day, it really wasn't a problem of getting going. Sending and receiving were a little slow. I'm sure there's a way to configure and make that go quicker. I'm sure there's potentially a plugin uh, to set up. So as far as Thunderbird being a good email client, it is, especially if you're just gonna leave the client open all the time, but still sending and receiving is a little slow for my book. But I did appreciate the layout. This layout is perfectly good for me and I'm grateful for that but it made me look for other options. So let's see what else I checked out because speed was important to me. Next, I tried MailSpring and setup was super easy with it. And the speed of sending and receiving emails was outstanding. And I'm like, all right, I have found my email client. This is gonna be great. Uh, this is the free version. There is a paid tier. I didn't see the need to uh, pay for anything, especially since I was trying it out. And I was like, hey, this is great. This was a flat pack version of MailSpring. Cool. This is great. I think I'm going to use this. I like how fast everything was receiving and sending. And then I started having problems with MailSpring. Specifically, it looks like there is something going on with the key ring. And I did some research and what most people were doing is they were rolling back a version so that this problem wouldn't persist. But essentially, in order for me to use this, every time I logged in, I was gonna have to re-authenticate with Gmail and my uh, private email account. And I didn't wanna have to do that. So I was like, Grr. This is not going to work for me. So as you can see here, they're wanting you to reconnect. You go through the authentication process again for both accounts and then everything works fine until it doesn't when you need to open up for the next day. That is a no-go for me. And that is sad because a lot of the layout and speed of things were just so attractive to me for this email client. They might come out with a new version and address this issue. I'm not the only person dealing with this issue, so I'm hoping that they will get this address and I may end up going with this later, but let's check out some other options. The next email client I tried was Bluemail. I was able to set up my private email quite easily, but it was having authentication issues with Gmail. It would just hang and hang, and then I would read where you'd try to set it up manually, and you'd have to go through and set up some things in Gmail, which I could do if I absolutely just loved this blue mail email clients, then maybe I would go through and do it. And there is a lot that I like about this email clients, even something as simple as a layout change, just a simple layout change. You have some themes here for the free version. This is also one that they will ask for a premium or blue mail plus. It looks perfectly fine to me. I was fine with this look. Things were integrated quickly. The speed seems to be there. They also have an AI piece if you care about that, but you can run it with that or walk through their instructions here, or you can have their language model proofread your email that you've written and see if there's anything that you need to address. Most of the time you just need the spell check that's already involved, but if this is a feature you think is super cool, I was like, hey, this is pretty cool but I had problems authenticating with Gmail. So this one got knocked out. And that's sad because this was another one that was quite fast. The next one I set up was Geary. And Geary is one of those that can be easily used on multiple systems. One of the things that I think you can notice is they try to keep everything as simple as possible. You've got your window situation. It just gives you an overview of the email. But if you go ahead and maximize it, then you can see the email here, which is pretty cool. It was simple and layout is okay, but it is just email. It is nothing else. And I wanted some integration with the calendar. So although this seemed to work pretty well for me, setting up both my Gmail account and my private email. This could work if all you need is email. I would consider using Geary. The next one that I used was Evolution, which is more of a full-featured email client with contacts, calendar, tasks, 
memos and the setup was super easy the layout is perfectly fine for me i like the layout just fine they have these buttons up here at the top versus the way that thunderbird sets up some of those same things over here next to the manual email but then they also have some of those same buttons right here so the reply button is here and here group reply is here and here if that bugs you I get it, but I understand why they did it that way. They're trying to give you what you need. I also like this little tapped view here for your calendar and your tasks. It works perfectly fine and set up, and I was able to get things going and uh, liked it. This was a flat pack, definitely something you could easily use anywhere because of that flat pack nature. I have noticed this on a lot of GNOME distributions, so this may be a good option for you. Sending and receiving emails is quicker than Thunderbird and the functionality is there. This was definitely one I was seriously considering. So the last one I tried was Better Bird. Better Bird is a soft fork of Thunderbird. I was like, well, what's the difference? Why would I even want to experience Better Bird uh, versus Thunderbird or Evolution? Because I think Evolution might be able to work for me just fine. Looked at the differences as far as features that are exclusive to Better Bird versus Thunderbird. And there are a lot of things here that they've addressed that are still being addressed in Thunderbird. See, Thunderbird, as far as its layout and its interface, I was very happy with it. It was just the speed. What I think is very interesting is they've just gone ahead and it's like, we want to make these improvements so that we can use it. And what my experience is, I get a faster Thunderbird. I was able to change the fonts to make the fonts more easily readable, which I was appreciative of. I still have the tabbed setup for my calendar or anything specific. So I'm just moving between tabs and I really like that. And I don't feel like I'm losing speed as far as sending the email or receiving the email. Uh, Evolution was definitely faster than Thunderbird when I was sending an email, but it was definitely slower than Bluebird or MailSpring. The speed of sending and receiving are about the same with Evolution or Thunderbird. It really is just how natural I feel around it and the interface with the tabs up here just makes me happy. Right now, I am choosing better bird. I did not realize I was going to be going down a rabbit hole when I started looking for an email client, but I bet you've experienced some similar things. I want speed. I want simplicity. I don't want to be fiddling around with email. I want to read what I need to read and respond to the way I need to respond and move on with my day. Get some information for tasks and calendar is a nice addition. I would like that. And I found it in a couple of options. And honestly, Two options I wish were able to handle things properly, specifically uh, MailSpring and BlueMail, I think are excellent options. And if you're not dealing with Gmail on Bluebird, I think there is a way to set it up manually. You might be able to get that authentication to work well. And with MailSpring, I'm hoping for an update to make that setup easier because it was the fastest of the bunch. And just sending an email and receiving an email, I really did like that part. I also did not expect to like Evolution. I just expected it to be just kind of a basic set, but it is way more full featured than I expected. And Better Bird actually is a better version of Thunderbird. You can see the features that were added, but for me, it really was about speed and integration and setup. And that was super easy and I appreciated it. So I'm going to continue to use Better Bird right now. I could easily see myself using Evolution. I would love to not have to switch around email clients, but I'm still curious because of the speed of MailSpring. Man, that was cool. But it's also not an open source project. So if you would like to support only open source, Thunderbird, Betterbird, Evolution, Geary. By the way, Geary, if you just want a simple email client, that was pretty slick and easy. If you just want to be able to go through and do that, I think that's good. Did I find in my quest the greatest email clients in the world. No, I did not, but I found some great ones and ones that will work well. Which ones do you use? Did you experience similar situations that I did with setting up MailSpring and Bluebird? Is there another one like Kmail or Contact that you prefer that I should check out? Let me know and let's see 
if we can just get this email thing kind of just compact and easy to see and read so that we can move on with our day. Thank you for joining me today. If you liked this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you. Let's continue to do this Linux thing, and I'll see you next time.